you're all doing okay. I'm here tonight to tell you your bedtime story. And it's a true story. And it's about a lady who lived, oh, a long, long time ago, 80 or 90 years ago. And um, her name is Corrie Ten Boom. Now, Ten Boom is her surname. That's an odd surname, isn't it? I wonder, do you know any of your friends who have the surname Ten Boom? I'm sure you don't. But it wouldn't be unusual if you lived in Holland. Because if you lived in Holland, you'd be a Dutch person. And Corrie Ten Boom was a Dutch lady. And she lived with her family there. And her story starts off when she was a little girl. So here goes. Corrie Ten Boom lived in a little watch shop in the middle of Holland. She lived there with her papa, her mama, her sister Bestie. It was a pretty little shop with a sign by the door and the window was full of watches that ticked away gently. And in the background, the clocks made loud ringing noises. Corrie loved her papa. He was one of the best watchmakers in the city. Corrie's papa loved God and he loved to teach his girls about God too. Corrie felt safe when she was with her papa. She felt even safer when she knew that God loved her. It was wonderful to know that a loving God that she could trust in. And that was all she needed to do. Jesus' love would keep her safe forever, even when she died. She loved that thought that she would be safe even then. Corrie had never felt so safe. Corrie wanted to be a watchmaker as well, like her papa. And when she passed her watchmaker's exams, Corrie's family had a big celebration. Corrie was so pleased. She loved working in the shop and every evening she made sure that the doors were locked to keep everything safe. Are all the watches safe? Corrie would ask as she checked the locks. Everything's safe, Corrie, said Papa. It's time to eat. One day, Corrie and Betsy woke up to the sound of aeroplanes flying overhead. They ran to the window and they looked out. Oh, it was enemy planes and they were covering the sky. The Nazis, the enemy had invaded Holland. Their country was at war. Bombs were dropped from the sky day and night until Holland was defeated. Corrie did all that she could to help people escape from the enemy. She would cycle through the city to pass on secret messages. Jewish people were in a lot of danger. The Nazis hated the Jewish people. Many of them were put in prison. We must help these poor people, Corrie said. They've got to have somewhere to hide. But where would she find a safe place? That was when they decided that Corrie's room would be made into a special hiding place. A special secret room was added onto the end of her bedroom. Anyone who needed a place to hide could come and stay with the Ten Boom family. When the enemy came, Corrie and Bestie would hide the people in their secret room until the soldiers went away. When the danger was over, Corrie would whisper a prayer of thanks to God. Everyone safe, God. Thank you. Thank you. However, one day the enemy found out that Corrie's family were helping the Jews escape. <gasps> Nazi guards came to the watch shop and hammered on the door. Corrie's friends hid inside the secret room. They got in just in time. And a Nazi guard marched into the watch shop and took Corrie away. It was her turn to go to prison now. Oh, it was a horrible, frightening day. But as she left in the back of the army truck, Corrie quietly whispered to God that she was thankful that the Nazis 
had not found the secret room. At least her friends were safe. For now. The prison was a horrible place to be. Cory was all alone. Her family were in prison too, but she wasn't allowed to see them. She was tired and hungry and just very sad. When she heard that her papa had died, Corrie's eyes filled with tears. But she knew that he had gone to be with Jesus. He had gone home. That's what heaven is like, she thought. It's just like going home. Papa is safe now. Nobody can hurt him now. He is with Jesus. And that thought really comforted Corrie, even though she was so sad. Corrie was surprised one morning when a parcel arrived for her. Why is the address written so strangely? It's almost as if they want me to look at the stamp. Perhaps they do. So she quietly peeled off the stamp and underneath there was a secret message. Do you know what it said? It said, all of the watches are safe. <gasps> Corrie smiled. It was a secret message to tell her that the people in the secret room had escaped. Thank you, Jesus, Corrie whispered. Thank you for keeping them safe. Corrie spent many months in different prisons. One of these prisons was called Ravensbrook. For some of the time she was with there with her sister, but sadly Betsy died in the prison and Corrie was all alone. She must have been so lonely. However, Corrie knew that God was with her. Even if she died, God would keep her safe. She knew that from when she was a little girl. Corrie knew that there was no place safer than heaven. Then an amazing thing happened. An enemy guard, one of the Nazis, he made a mistake and Corrie was set free instead of one of the other prisoners. <gasps> Amazing, she was free. And not long after that, the war ended. Corrie remembered the watches and the secret room and how God always keeps his people safe. So many people need to know that the only way to be really safe is to trust in Jesus Christ, Corrie thought. Jesus died for me, that's what I need to tell everybody. I need to tell the world. Trusting in Jesus and what he did is the only way to be truly safe. And you know, Corrie went on to tell hundreds and hundreds of people all about Jesus and the good news that he can save them from their sins. We know that, don't we? And we need to share that too with our friends, with the people we come into contact with. Our friends need to know about Jesus and it's up to us to tell them, just like Corrie did in the story. So let's ask God to help us to do that. Let's say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the story of Corrie Ten Boom. We thank you that she trusted in you and she knew that she was safe with you looking after her. And we thank you that as Christians, as children of God, we can know that too. And Lord, we pray that you would help us share Jesus's love with all of our friends and people who we come into contact with. Help us to remember how important it is to share your love and your message of good news. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye everyone, I hope you sleep well.